Correspondent Ismail Abu Omar and cameraman Ahmed Matar were reporting from Khan Yunis in the southern Gaza Strip before they were hit by missiles from an Israeli drone. They've been reporting on the Palestinians displaced between Rafah and Khan Yunis. Minutes later, they would become the story. The drone strike has left them with catastrophic injuries. Al Jazeera's correspondent Ismail Abu Omar arrived at a makeshift hospital after suffering severe injuries. He was targeted by a drone missile at the Mirage area. Upon examination, his right leg was already severed, in addition to shrapnel all across his chest and his head, as well as his left leg. We suspect his femoral artery was cut off at the bottom of his leg. He was given first aid and then transferred here to the European hospital. He was bleeding heavily to the point that his blood pressure and pulse were not readable. This means he is in critical condition. Ahmad Matar has suffered shrapnel wounds to his head. Both men are in a serious condition, according to doctors. The government media office in Gaza says it's the fifth time in this war that journalists working for Al Jazeera have been singled out. It says they were deliberately targeted in violation of international law. At least 126 journalists have been killed in Gaza since October the 7th, according to the government there. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.